Today I want to show you how to build the perfect calendar to your bubble app. The calendar we will build today can be used in many ways. It can just show the days of the month, the tasks you have for the upcoming week. You can use to select a date to show a specific range of data or even use it as a date picker to create items into the database. So remember, if you are trying to build your app with no code, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. Now let's go to the screen. First, we need to add a plugin called Toolbox. This plugin allows to add some code into an element. To start, create a group and call it the main calendar. Now add a reprint group with 6 rows and 7 columns. Set a type data to date. Now we need to create a custom state. We can choose any item, clicking start edit workflow, go to elements, set state, new state and name it month offset. The type is number. Up here we will add two icons to change the current month, one arrow to the right and one to the left. We can also add a text to show the name of the current month and of course add a task element to the repeating group to show the days of the month. Using the toolbox plugin, add an expression to your main calendar group. You can call it get days. So result type to date and add the expression. Don't worry, the expression will be in the description below. At the bottom of the expression, we need to replace the part it says month has num to the bubble expression current daytime plus month main calendar month offset strict month minus one. And where it says years has num for current date time plus months, main calendar, month offset, extract year. Those expressions will also be in the description, so relax. Now go back to repeating group and set the data source to get days value list. To change the current month, add to the left arrow an element action. Set state, element, main calendar, custom state, month offset. And the value, main calendar, month offset, minus one. Do the same thing to the right arrow, but instead of minus one, use plus one. Then you'll be able to go back and forward with the current month. You can also add the first letter of each day of the week and change the style the way you want. Now it's finished. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you need help to start your Bubble project, go to our template page at Bubble and visit our website. The links are in the description below. Thanks for joining me guys and see you in the next video.